Hey friends, today is Tuesday. I'm Pastor Joe and I have your word for the day. Did you ever make a promise with a friend when you were young and they made you pinky swear? Did you ever have somebody make a promise to you and then they broke that promise? Well, I know your answer. Of course you have. All of us have had people break promises. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad always promised to quit drinking and would always break that promise. Broken promises hurt. And when you and I experience a lot of broken promises, we tend to stop trusting people. I want to encourage you, make sure that you don't relate your experience with people breaking their promises to God and think that God is as wishy-washy as the people around us who break their promises. See, God is not a promise breaker. He is the promise maker and he is the promise keeper. In Exodus chapter 6, God told Moses to tell the people that he would free them from their oppression. He would rescue them from Egypt. He would redeem them with his powerful arm. He would claim them as his own people and he alone would be their God. So Moses told the Israelites that great news and the Israelites refused to listen and believe because they had become too brutalized by their slavery. Did you catch that? They stopped believing the promises of God because of what man had done to them. We tend to do the same thing as well. We read God's word, we doubt. We pray, we doubt. And often we doubt because of our experiences with those around us who have broken their promises to us. Numbers 23, 19 is, is one of my memory verses. It says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not make it good? Guys, I want you to know you can trust God. You can build your life on the foundation of his word. His word has the promise of life to us. Read and apply God's word to your life because he can be trusted to fulfill every single one of his promises found in scripture. Every single one of his promises in God Every promise of scripture is yes and amen. And I'm so grateful that God's character is consistent and constant and we can depend on him. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it and apply it to your life. God bless.